Hi Pan, uh, lovely to see you here. Uh, you've got an amazing uh, film coming out. The trailer is amazing. Uh, I saw the film at Mami and it, it's uh, really, really wonderful. Uh, like you know, you're not a part of the viewing room here. Could you talk about uh, why you are at the film bazaar? See, Angry Indian Goddesses, uh, they, we were we couldn't show because the release date was locked, which was fourth December. Just few literally 10 days away from today uh, and second thing is that entire cast and crew you know as we know we have where we come from we don't have a mega star in our movie but so we had to really go to city to city to promote it so that's what we've been doing but in the, all that we have to come and do a couple of business meetings for the future project right. here so that's how we came to film bazaar right and the film has had an amazing festival run yeah. uh, it went to uh, uh, tiff initially yes. and then it was in uh, bfi yeah it, so it went to quite a few series of festivals last one was stockholm now next right. week is singapore then rome was very big for us because there again though it won people's choice award right. in rome and uh, of course tiff and there'll be few festivals will continue but we are much more excited about this international release right, right. <laughs> because you know festival after a while yes it's a great platform but I always long to bring the film to the real audience right. so luckily we have got now almost 60 territories uh, yeah wow. uh, and uh, very soon I think we would have probably almost uh, all, all, all entire globe. <laughs> and the film is set to release uh, on December fourth. December fourth, right? Yes. And and I'm like you are in the promotional cycle. Uh, yeah. It's an amazing uh, yeah. story of you know a bunch of uh, women who are yeah. going through their lives. Uh, could you talk a bit about the film? Yeah, Angry Indian Goddesses is really a kind of a slice of life and time from seven friends who come together here in Goa. Uh, you know, one of the friend invites them for a surprise. So it's a, in one sense it's a very very simple film. It's a celebration of uh, womanhood, uh, celebration of friendship. It could be guys or girls, but you know there is that whole bonding which is happening, and this friendship and bonding is very important in contemporary 21st century in our society because you know very often the youngsters are communicating less and less to parents. You know they're sharing much more with friends. Right. You know, and be it boys or girls, you right. know, and more so with girls. Right. So this film is, you know, really about that friendship and bonding. But that few days, quick visit to meet friends, say hello, I, and go back to their lives, turns into a kind of impromptu surprises, you know, which will take these girls into kind of a roller coaster <laughs> right, of right, things. Right. Yeah. I know you're one of the few filmmakers who've uh, managed to have your films released internationally in a lot of. Yeah. Uh, places. I think uh, India has been, you know, unlucky in that sense that it has not been able to see a good yeah. theatrical release of any of your films. Uh, a uh, Angry Ingos is the first film that yeah. is kind of getting a, you know, really yeah. good true, release. True. Uh, could you talk about, uh, you know, your experience of uh, taking Indian films internationally and see what which has now been yeah. replicated by a lot of other. I films. think you know a lot of these labels and everything is sort of given by the distribution system, you know, but when. For example, when I made my first feature film, Samsara, I was making it, I wanted to make a good film, you know, and then it was labeled as a regional film because it's from Ladakh and Ladakhi language. Uh, then it went out to a festival in Toronto and Sundance, so then it was suddenly a festival film. Then it won many awards, so it became an art house film. <laughs> then when Miramax and Disney acquired and it crossed 130 crore box office, then suddenly it was a mainstream film. And then the censor in Mexico and China. So I think it's all these labels are, you know, constantly changing. It doesn't interest me, Hollywood, Bollywood, indie, art house. You know, I like to make movies and my always my aim is to how do I take it to the viewers. Right. And those movies, I couldn't raise financing out of India. So I had big difficulty in releasing it here. You know, Samsara had a very small release in 2007 by Sony, released it here, 15 screen. But all the other countries were doing a bigger release, so I didn't even pay much attention. You know, and uh, you know, like you know, when you are, uh, when you have 15 distributor running after you, and in India it was the opposite. We were running after distributor for 15 screens. <laughs> yeah. So you know, and uh, and then we had Valley of Flowers. Uh, the producers decided not to release because. They were a censor and asked too many cut, you know. So they said, like, forget it. Let's go where the film is working well. And I don't own my movies, so I had to follow what was happening. So in a, in a way, Angry Indian Goddesses, I'm really excited because it is about, 
Young India. It is in Hindi, you know, uh, main, uh, you know, Hindi and bit of English. And it has some known faces also. Well. Yeah, exactly. And so some you know, really good actresses. Yeah. And also the 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 scope has changed. You know, from when I made Samsara, when it was released here in 2007 to now, in eight years, there is some changes happening. Uh, and uh, it's even though it's very little, but there's a uh, the distribution. You know, people are waking up. The distributor, exhibitors, producers are realizing that Indian audience is ready for great content too. You know, yeah. I mean, they, it's we can't we wrongly judge them for so many decades. Oh, they only want to see masala. They only want to see no brainer. Yes, that pop culture is always going to be part of. You know, big cinema will be there. But there's a num there's a limit how many films Khans and Kapoor's can do. <laughs> you know, you have a 52 weekend. So many weekends are free to release great cinema, you know. So I think that way, I'm really excited and looking forward to see, you know, uh, you know, uh, about Angry Indian Goddess release. Yeah. Now, because of Angry Indian Goddesses, I mean, distributors are calling up to take out the older movie. <laughs> so let's do a small release, but dikhate hain, you know. So and some of them have never seen my work, you know. So they are discovering this film. Some people discover out of artistic curiosity. Others because of commercial reason. अच्छा इसने 130 करोड़ बनाया था व्हाट इज दिस फिल्म यू नो सो देर इज दैट रीजन आल्सो व्हाई डिड दिस फिल्म मेक सो मच ऑफ मनी व्हाई डिड मीरा मैक्स एक्वायर्ड व्हाई डिड वाज रिलीज वर्ल्ड वाइड एंड वी डोंट सो इन सम वेज नाउ बिकॉज़ ऑफ इवन एंग्री इंडियन गॉडेसेस पीपल आर गोइंग बैक टू डिग सम ऑफ द द वर्क बट यू नो आई थिंक द एज द न्यू डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स आर कमिंग यू नो आई एम आई हैव हैड सो मेनी रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम फ्रॉम फेसबुक for people wanting to see my work so i really would look forward to sharing it you know i mean if i own the right i would put it free on the tube <laughs> thanks thanks thank so. you